In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create a texture atlas. A texture atlas is just a collection of images all put into one texture so that you can reduce draw calls and uh, save space on your, your game projects. To create a texture atlas, we have to have source textures. These are just small images that are created in uh, some kind of graphical editor like Photoshop or GIMP or Illustrator or anything like that. I've created mine in Photoshop. I've drawn several objects and then broken them up into pieces so that I can put them back together into a texture atlas. Over here, you can see different um, individual textures that I've created. A knight with his pieces, uh, face, arm, leg, helmet. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is creating a texture atlas for the arena that the knight is going to be in. And for that, we have two textures, the arena texture and a target texture. So to begin, we just find a folder where we want to create the uh, texture atlas. Right click, click create, a smooth moves texture atlas. I think that's outside the window, but you should be able to see that in the menu. And what that'll do is create a new file called new atlas. We want to rename this since all of the dependent files that it will create are named the same. So we want to make sure that that's correct first so we don't have to rename them later. All right, now that we've created that, you can see in the inspector there's a button to open the Atlas Editor. You can also open the Atlas Editor through the window Smooth, Move, Smooth Moves Atlas Editor. But we'll go ahead and click on this because it's just nice and convenient. That'll bring up a tool window. This is the Texture Atlas Editor. It shows the name of your atlas, the one you just created. It has three properties you can change. The padding, which is the number of pixels between the textures in the atlas. If some of your textures seem to be bleeding over into each other, you might want to increase this padding value, but that will also make your texture atlas larger. You can set the max atlas size. Uh, right now, it defaults to 1024. That is the maximum size, I believe, that an iPhone can handle. But you can change that if you're not using iPhone or you can make it smaller. You can also force the image to be square. That's good for compression. Like the iPhone especially, the PVR, TCU, the compression there needs to be square images. But uh, to begin, we're just going to drag images into this area here. Now this isn't the actual atlas. This is just the area where the images are, are organized. So let's start with the arena and the target images. We just drag and drop them. So we have two images in our Atlas Editor, Target and the Arena. Now again, this is not the actual Atlas. This is just our organization of our images. You can see once we've dropped this here, the background turns yellow and this Rebuild Atlas button turns yellow. That indicates that uh, something has changed with the Atlas and it needs to be rebuilt. So we'll go ahead and click on that button. And what that does is it takes the source textures, turns them into ARGB32, and then creates an atlas. So if you scroll down over here, you have your original Arena texture atlas file. You have a new material called Arena, same name. It defaults to particles alpha blended. You can change that if you want. I default to that because I like to use that for my animations. The uh, This particular sh shader allows you to see front and back so your images or your animations can look left and right and you don't have to create two animations for that. It also created the actual te texture atlas which is here, it's just one image with two pieces in it uh, separated by UVs or delineated by UVs and it just defaults to the default texture settings so it's going to be compressed probably. Now one thing to keep in mind even though Smooth Moves use, uses only this texture atlas, you want to keep your original source files, source texture files, because the editor uses the source texture files for showing here and also in the animation editor. So don't delete those, even though your final build in your game will only include the atlas itself, so that'll save, save you uh, space. So that's how to create an atlas.